Okay, I have one other uh, question about this. This is from your textbook. Certain atomic orbitals on two atoms were combined to form the following MOs. Name the atomic orbitals used and the molecular orbitals formed and explain which MO has a higher energy. Well, it's just pretty easy. Let's start with this one. Uh, you can see from the shape of this thing that it probably came by mixing the wave functions for two um, 2p atomic orbitals, and this produces overlap in here, and produces this big lobe and these two small tails. So this would be a sigma. Why is it sigma? Head on. Did you say head on? Good. It's head on. The overlap's head on. That makes it sigma orbital, so we'll call it sigma 2p. Okay? Now that's going to be pretty stable, okay, because the overlap is strong. So it's going to be low in the energy diagram. On the other hand, over here, we have a similar looking set here, except there's a node in the middle. And you probably know that that is accompanying an antibonding molecular orbital. So what this is going to be is uh, 2p, uh, let's say, if this were x over here, these were x's, this is 2px minus 2px, okay? Which will make a sigma antibonding molecular orbital, like that. Because the wave, the electron wave is going to cancel in here because it's going to have positive sign on this side, negative sign on that side. That'll give us cancellation and that'll produce this node here. So. Is this molecular orbital higher in energy or lower in energy than this one? This one over here is going to be higher in the diagram, right? They're, all, they're both negative. They're both negative, but the bonding molecular orbital will be lower than the antibonding molecular orbital. So the one that has higher energy is this one. What do you think? We got it? 